The overarching threat to our whole society today is the exploding federal debt. The Holy Father himself, Pope Benedict, has charged governments, communities, and individuals running up high debt levels are, quote, living at the expense of future generations and living in untruth, unquote. He quoted Pope Benedict uh, in defense of his uh, concern about budget deficits and debt. And everybody's concerned about the debt, but you can't quote Pope Benedict uh, to support this budget. Uh, Pope Benedict would say, yeah, you also have to raise taxes. And this is what the US Catholic bishops have said. You know, the US Catholic bishops have talked about uh, not balancing the budget on the backs of the poor. We also have to look at cutting other programs, programs the military and looking at the possibility of raising taxes. Just look at the results of the government-centered approach to the war on poverty. One in six Americans are in poverty today. That's the highest rate in a generation. In this war on poverty, poverty's winning. We need a better approach. To me, this approach should be based on the twin virtues of solidarity and subsidiarity. Virtues that, when taken together, revitalize civil society instead of displacing it. Government is one word for things we do together. But it's not the only word. We are a nation that prides itself on looking out for one another. And government has an important role to play in that. But relying on distant government bureaucracies to lead this effort, it just hasn't worked. Well, I was glad to hear him link subsidiarity with solidarity. I, you know, I don't think he's done that in the past. Subsidiarity means that we should try and do things at the lowest level uh, possible in society. You know, what families can do, families should do. What local governments can do, local governments should do. But we're in a huge economic disaster with large unemployment, with local governments not having the money to even uh, pay teachers' salaries and police. And, you know, f this is not the time for the federal government to step aside and say, hey, you're on your own. No, uh, subsidiarity doesn't give a free pass to cut and gut government programs for the poor. We have to be concerned about the impact of these cuts on these people. Our budget offers a better path, consistent with the timeless principles of our nation's founding, and frankly, consistent with how I understand my Catholic faith. We put trust in people, not in government. Our budget incorporates subsidiarity by returning power to individuals, to families, and to communities. We draw inspiration from the founders' belief that all people are born with a God-given right to human flourishing. Protecting this equal right of all persons is required for solidarity. Trusting citizens, not nameless government officials, to determine what is in their best interest and to make the right choices about the future of our country. The choice before us could not be more clear. Continuing down the path we are on would mean becoming the first generation to break faith with the American legacy of leaving the next generation with more prosperity and greater opportunities than our parents left us. If there is one thing you hear me say today, hear this. This will not be our destiny. Americans won't stand for a shrunken vision of our future. We will get back on a path to prosperity. It is not too late to get this right. Thank you very much.